Okay, so today I'm going to walk you through how to set up a new title with Ingram Spark. As you saw from that dashboard page, there was a big button at the front that said add new title. So it makes it very easy. Once you get to this first page, you're given the option to do print, ebook, or print and ebook. So in this case, I'm just doing print, but I do find that when you do the print and ebook option, it's really easy and really smooth. I definitely like that because it's going to save you from having to re-enter everything twice if you already know you're doing the conjoining option. So that's super helpful. All right, as you can see, I'm entering the description. I'm entering the details for the book to make sure that that's in there. And I have that other tab open with the description where I'm just copying and pasting that in. I'm gonna need it a lot as I am going through all the different systems. So it's nice to have it already written out, already spell checked, very important going from there. Yes, it asks for a short and a long description, which I don't love, um, but that's what it asks for, so you need to be prepared for that. Okay, add in my information. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Write your name or your pen name. All right, and here's where I'm going to look up the codes, uh, the categories for the topics. So it's nice that I can add up to three in Ingram Spark. If you'll remember in KDP, you can add two. Um, you have to manually email KDP to ask to add up to 10, which is a shortcut that I learned from Dave Chesson of Kindlepreneur. But in Ingram Spark, you can do up to three uh, just in the setup. Okay, you're asked to add the table of contents, so have your document ready so you can do that. All right, and so when I copied it from my ebook document, I just had to unlink the, um, the hyperlinks that were already in there. All right, we're continuing on. So here's where I'm just putting in the details of the actual print format, the size of the book, the paperback or hardback. This is gonna be paperback. I'm putting in that I want it on cream paper because that's less jarring on the eye. So I'm starting to get all those details in there um, that it's asking for. And I've already planned this out. I already looked at the pricing calculator. So I am not surprised by any of the stuff that is coming up here. I've already taken a look at it. Now here's where I am lit doing my list price, and now I'm setting my discount. So the industry standard discount is at least 50%. So I feel like I do just fine on my sales with online retail. I would love to have more of my books in bookstores, and I do that with the Infinite Infinite. But for this book, I'm not seeing a lot of bookstores carrying this book. Um, I really just wanna focus on getting it into libraries. So I'm gonna keep it at the minimum discount that's required. I can at any point increase the discount if I wanted to, but I'd rather start where it's a lower discount and I can increase it versus I'm starting out at a higher discount and never really knowing what's gonna happen if I try to lower it, so. And this will always show you this notice to make sure that you are aware of the pre-order um, that you are setting up. And then you're finally gonna get the page where you can upload things. So it is really important to make sure the top file is your interior, the bottom file is your cover file. Do not try to put your cover file in the interior. You are going to get a very weird um, update from the system saying this doesn't work. So you wanna make sure your interior file is a PDF that has been saved not from Microsoft Word. Ingram Spark is very clear on this in their um, details in their file creation guide. So you wanna make sure you're not doing that. As you can see, I'm doing a full wrap uh, paperback cover that has the front, the spine, and the back cover on it that I'm uploading here. 
Okay, so Ingram Spark will tell you that it's uploading the files. It will look for any file errors as you are uploading them. A person will review all the files as well. So maybe it's the correct format, everything was saved correctly, but something just isn't lining up with their printer system. They will manually email you within a few days to let you know if there's another issue. So in this case, we're waiting to get this first check done, like this first pass. Are these the correct file types? Are they saved to the correct color formats? Those kinds of things, that's where this first check is. And then the later check will come that's kind of passed through human eyes. It's a bit more detailed. So you will have multiple checkpoints, which I think is a benefit. I know some authors don't like it because they have to wait a bit longer. They have to plan a bit further ahead, but it ensures better quality. And I think that's more important than just a speed to release. Okay, and this can take a while, so you just want to pack your patience, get ready for it. Okay, and at long last, your title submission page pops up. Now you can see there is a charge for the listing fee. So what I'm doing is I am putting in the NanoRIMO code that uh, Ingram Spark gave out. It's NANO2020. It is only good through the end of March 2020, so if you're watching this, it does not, and it's after March 2020, it's not currently valid, but you can see this dropped my charge to $0. Now, when I get that final approval email from Ingram Spark, I will see that again. Um, but right now they're saying it's been received and they're going to review it. And that's it.